in like any job. Workers from Excel's Sherburn County Generating Plant go home at the end of the day. There's only one way out of the industrial park. So. This plant burns over 30,000 tons of coal each day, making it the largest coal burning power plant in the state. The, the backup power plant is the largest coal fired power plant in uh, Minnesota. Since 1978. Sherco is a, a major polluter. Excel Energy is at the heart of a debate to determine their path for the next decade. But with the wait and see approach to their investment in coal, um, to continue investing in coal in the next 10 years, we really think that doesn't match up to the rhetoric they're portraying as a clean energy leader. So we're just trying to push them down the path that has been set out for a clean energy future in our state. And the Sierra Club is holding them accountable in order to protect the environment. Minnesota is a state of natural beauty. That concern goes beyond protecting the environment. Yeah. Statistics say that there are 1,600 asthma attacks a year that that can be that can be traced back to the plant. David works and lives near the plant. I don't notice it, no, because I live eight miles out of town. And barely even notices what others see as a problem. <laughs> That'd be funny, because for me, I got bronchial asthma, so if, if it was hard to breathe, I'd be the first one to tell you, you know? Professor Cassie explains there are risks from burning coal. Problems, uh, like uh, coal, of course, has uh, sulfur dioxide, uh, NOx, they call it NOx, uh, nitrogen dioxide, that's a problem. And of course, uh, global warming gas, people talk about carbon dioxide, that's a problem. But it will be a while. We can't just completely say we remove coal completely. So we need a bridge technology to move to the next level. Before change could come into effect. We're not looking for the plant shift to, to turn off tomorrow. This is about what Excel is going to be invested in in the next decade to come. Emilio Ramos, UTVS News.